<laughs> Time for another hood. We're here in San Jose already, finally. We bought all the parts except we're missing one more thing, the release cable. And it's release cable for the hood so it can open. But one more thing, I think I'm gonna go check the mounts. I don't, I'm not sure if it's bent from when the accident happened. Probably could be bent, hopefully it's not. So I'm gonna have to buy fucking hood mounts and wait to drive the car again. But I'm putting on this shirt so I won't get as dirty as much. Well, obviously you don't get dirty, but here's the T-bar. I don't know if you can see it, let me bring it up. Here's a T bar that we needed. This one's okay. And there's a hood right there, just chilling. Fence. There it is. I didn't buy the car in 501 because I wanted to. I'm gonna wrap the car and wrap the whole hood. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna look good. And yeah. We'll catch you guys when we get to the bottom. We're gonna go install these two parts. Hopefully, I don't need the new mounts. If they're bent, then we're gonna have to buy new ones and we're gonna have to wait so you can drive the car. But I'm gonna go see if I can get a cable as soon as possible for the hood. And yeah, let's get right to it. We're here with Chente for now. He's gonna fix that car. You see that dent oh. right there? Big dent yeah, right there. That looks a little fast. That's why we're changing the hood to that one because I'm gonna wrap it. There's a dent on that car right here. This is why Kevin hooked it up on this uh, ship knob because this one's already tor torn up. And it looks very nasty. You see it? You see it? So I'm gonna put this one right now in a bit and we'll show you guys how it's gonna look after. Oh, with the old and with the new. Looks pretty big from my perspective. Um, looks pretty huge. You see? Look, it's this my hand. So it's like fits another hand, two hands. But it's all right for now. I like it better because I mean, it fits the car. Does? I mean, it's good for now. Better than having this one all torn up and stuff. This one going in the garbage. Look. I might buy a carbon fiber one, but Kevin said it's too hot. So I might be thinking twice and keeping this one, just because I like it has like a little diamond, like, like I don't know, it has like diamond top. It looks. Like crystally, looks nice. Hood is off. Time for the other hood. But before that, we're gonna put this one on the T bar, the latch, and I need the cable. But we'll see when we get it. This part is on. These two bolts are on looks inside. And we put the hood back because. Um, one of these parts, uh, they didn't fit perfectly, so we're gonna have to buy these hood hinges because one of them is bent from the accident that happened, so they're like a little bit off, so it won't like close shut this part and this part to the hood on that side though. This one was cool, but the other one with this with the black hood, I took it back up the black hood and it wasn't closing good. So we're gonna go see if another guy has them that's parting out of our sex. We'll catch you guys in We installed. Um, the new one, uh, with the old, and with the new. The new one is black, I like it, because I want my engine bay black. So, there's a new, there's a new one, uh, right here. So that's a new lever too. Latch, lever, whatever you like to call it. But we're gonna connect it all. We just need the, the, the hood hinges. And I think we might need a new, uh, hood release cable. I might go check out uh, some parted out RSXs in a bit. See if they have any. And we'll catch you guys when we finish up putting the hood and the T-bar. It's gonna be hot as hell. I know damn well because fuck you feel it. Oh my god it's, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Even this is hot. Okay guys we have it parked. I think I'm gonna keep the windows down. There's the hood right there. This is part two. I just got off work. Um, my dad bought the hood hinges off some shop, uh, brand new. Damn, I'm hella sweaty. It's hella hot right now. I just bought it brand new. He just bought it brand new. Um, Dale para atrás. We'll catch you guys. Let me do the install. I don't know if you guys can see, but you guys can see the difference. This is max height. This one's bent more. This one's like straight. And then here, if you see it forward, look at these two bottom, the bottom brackets. You see how this one's more bent? This one's like more straight. That's the problem. It didn't want to close. But now we got the new ones and they're all straight again. So let's hope, let's hope, let's hope for the best. This plate. 
this all looks right now it looks pretty ugly but coming along coming along I bought the hood t-bar and I just need the hood release latch cable that goes through the fender goes all the way through the fender goes through here and in there can you guys see it it's in there somewhere around there you can pull the hood because we can't close it right now fully because then it'll lock and then we won't be able to, we won't be able to get it out and it just so needs a lip and probably just a drop and look sick it would probably look like a sick drop and yeah just can't wait to get get more mods for this shit it's about to go down drunker than a bitch at the party with my nick the slump of party with your bitch finna hit the dick 1056 taking sips let the syrup sit I just enjoyed that little video on the installs um, I'm not gonna do the hood latch cable video because it's gonna take long. I just want to do a little short video on the hood install, T bar install, and just a little update on how the car's going. Windshield fixed, hood fixed, T bar fixed. All I need is the cable. We're good to go, and we're gonna drop this bitch to the floor. We're gonna slam this car, and we're gonna make this car look clean. We're gonna camber the shit out of this car. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give me any ideas on what mods to get. Catch you guys. Love and life, happiness in sight. But still something ain't feeling right. Trying to make it in this world, but this world ain't built for my kind. Struggling the consequence when you try to be different. I don't want a nine to five. I use my skills to pay my rent.